Hello and welcome to another episode of 3D Drawing Beam Model Railway. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to draw this brick wall using the rectangular pattern function, which is another way of copying something similar to what we did on the last lesson. As you can see down in the history farm, this actually only took six functions to be able to complete this brick wall. The only issue when drawing something like this is it does use quite a lot of computing pro, uh, power so you need to make sure you do have quite a, a decent PC to be able to do this or keep it to a minimum. Okay so let's get started. We'll open a new tab to get a new design, create a sketch, I'm going to draw on the side wall and I'm going to draw a two point rectangle starting from the origin, I'm going to drag it out, I'm going to define the height is 15.8 millimeters by 33.8 millimeters. I'm then going to extrude that, and I'm only going to extrude it by one millimeter just for today's lesson. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is draw the brickwork. Okay, so there's two ways of drawing this. You could sit here, you could draw every single brick and be here for hours doing it. Okay. All I'm going to draw, draw is a couple of bricks and that's it. So I'm going to draw on this front face. I'm going to draw using two point rectangle again. I'm going to zoom right down into the bottom. I'm going to drag that out and I'm going to create a brick that is 0.6 millimeters high. And I'm going to do it as, as 1.5 millimeters long. Okay, so that's my first rectangle. So that's my, the, the brick drawn. The next thing I'm going to draw is the, the mortar line. Okay, and I'm going to have that as 0.8 millimetres by 1.7 millimetres. So that gives me a 0.2 millimetre gap, essentially what would be my mortar. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to draw is the next course of bricks up. So I'm going to do create a line. Now, a few people have mentioned construction lines in comments on previous videos. Here's one where it becomes really useful to have a construction line. So I'm going to select the midpoint of this brick and draw a line upwards. Press escape. I'm going to select that line and I'm going to, over on the sketch palette on the right here, I'm going to change it to construction. Now, essentially all that's doing is creating a line that's there that I can draw off. But when I come to extrude, it won't affect the extrusion at all. Okay, so the next thing we're going to draw is the half of the next brick upwards. So that's going to be 0.6 millimeters tall. And then I'm going to define the distance from that edge to the construction line as 0.1 millimeters. Now, what that's given me is half of my mortar line here. And I know that that mortar line would then be centered on the brick. Next thing I'm going to draw is using a line again. I'm going to come across here and I'm going to draw upwards and I'm going to snap it to the same height as this brick. So what I can do is if I come across with my cursor and go to that top line, you can see I now get like a little blue X again. I'm going to drag that across and I know that I'm now at the same height as that one. I'm going to escape out of that and I'm going to define my distance from my line, the construction line to the line as 0.1 millimeters. And I'm going to, it's already defined the height because I had it selected from this top line. The next one I'm going to draw is another line coming outwards and I want it to be in line with this mortar line here. And I'm going to then define that as 0.85 millimetres. Okay, so the next one I'm going to come upwards by 0.2 millimetres and then across to the end. Okay, and if I define that, 1.7 millimeters. Okay, so for some reason that's not defining, so it could be that this line here is not defined properly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and define that. There you go, it's turned black. So as soon as I defined it, it's all gone black for me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I've finished essentially drawing my bottom course of bricks and then two half bricks for the next course up. And the mortar lines that go with it. So if I now hold shift and select those two courses, right click, extrude, and we'll turn it around just so you can see what happens. I'm going to drag that extrusion in by 0.2 millimeters and we're cutting away. We now got our brick and mortar line. Okay, 
So again, it's not covering the whole wall, but now this is where it becomes really interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to come across to create, down to pattern, we're going to select rectangular pattern. And we're going to select at the top here features, which then means that we can come down for objects, select that, coming down and we're going to select down in the bottom in the history, the extrusion we've just done, you can see it highlights that extrusion. That's now selected, we can tell it's just got that because it's got one. We're then going to select the direction and we're going to do that edge there. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is drag this all the way across to the other side. And I want, you can see the faint line of the drawing, I want the brick to be right up at the edge. So there, 32.3 millimetres. Okay, and I'm going to increase the quantity of patterns. Now, the number in this box is your original pattern plus four more here. So I've got five, so I've got the original pattern plus four. I'm going to change that. I'm going to increase that to 20. Now what you can see has happened is I've now got evenly spaced bricks all the way across. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to go upwards. So we're going to select the up arrow and we're going to drag that. Now you can see as I've done that, it's come up with one too many patterns into instances. So we're going to drag that back down. I'm actually going to say we don't want any of you. Okay. And then click on OK. So essentially what's happened is that the software doesn't like patterning too much. So we're going to click on OK and that will draw that bottom two rows. Then, so we now need to go up the wall again. So we do create, come back down to pattern, rectangular pattern, make sure it's on features. We're going to select objects. So we want to have the original extrusion and then shift plus the pattern. Then we're going to select directions and we're going to go upwards and we're going to drag that all the way to the very top. And I think that's going to be about 14 millimeters or so. Yeah, 14.4, I think. Looking at that. Yeah, so the top of the brick now is in line with the top of the wall. Number of instances, I'm going to increase that to 10. And you see that we now have that going all the way up the wall. When you hit enter, it'll take a little while to com compute this because there's a lot going on in the background to be able to draw this. And there's our brick wall, top to bottom, left to right. We've got a wall there that's 33.8 millimetres by 15.8 millimetres. Obviously, the bigger you go, the more it's going to take to compute. Um, what you can do is then ask the pattern to draw it the once pattern like this, and then ask it to then pattern the pattern again and again. And the more you add, the more complex it becomes, the harder it is for your PC to keep up with it. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. It's only a little simple one today. Um, if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.